Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I'm going to paint. I'm going to do a little painting of some background uh, accents, I guess, on the Toyota Tacoma. Now, what I'm talking about are these right here for the Black Horse Roll Bar or Sport Bar. Right now, they're red, and I am going for an orange theme on this truck. So red is just not going to work. Now, fortunately, Black Horse has these easily removable. There's just a couple of bolts on each side, or a couple of nuts, uh, that you have to take off. And of course, they are 10 millimeter. So we're going to pull these off, and I'm going to scuff them up, and I'm going to paint them a bit. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But as far as the paint that I'm going to use, I'm going to go this time around with just a simple orange. You can ignore this one. This is for a different mod. Uh, but I'm going to use just a normal orange. It should be pretty good, I think. I have some other shades I could go with, but I think orange should just be orange. I will prime them a little bit prior to that. I'm going to use this high heat primer. I'll just hit maybe a couple of coats of this. Don't know if it's really necessary, but anything to kind of bond the paint a little bit more. So let me put you on the uh, infamous hat cam and I'll show you how these are removed. Okay, grab a couple of tools here. Well, really one and a flashlight. And where I'm talking about, make sure you guys can see, I guess I'll actually just sit down in here. That'll give me a better vantage for you guys, I think. What I'm talking about are these screws right here, or these bolts. Nuts? I guess nuts. Just need to remove those and then this red part comes off. So, that is just a simple 10 millimeter socket. Probably a washer or something behind there maybe, maybe not. Actually not, that's even better. Something I don't have to keep track of. Go ahead and take this one off. This is very simple. I'm glad they made it this way as opposed to some kind of a permanent setup because that would have been a drag, obviously. And then the panels just come off like so. It's pretty darn simple. And look at that. The black horse had even started to show through. These had started to fade. I'll be darn. That's that Texas sun, I guess. Now, I am going to go ahead and put these back on just to keep track of them. Uh, because you know, if you set these things somewhere, uh, you're going to lose them. That's assuming I don't drop it trying to re-thread it on here. There we go. Nothing real tight, nothing crazy. Just want them up against the metal just to make sure that they don't back off while I'm driving the truck around because these will have to sit and dry for a few days. So make sure they stay on. But you get the idea. Now, one could just leave these off and just have them open like that. You don't have to put these on. So there is another option, I guess, uh, if you really wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. I'll get the other one off and then we'll get to doing some painting. Okay, my method for doing this, pretty darn simple and it's worked very well for me every time I've painted. You want to scuff up the surface a little bit. I just use this what is it, Scotch-Brite, purple, red, whatever you want to call it, just to put some fine, like, micro-scratches on the surface. Gives the paint and the primer something to bond to. And then, ideally, you would use, like, some cheesecloth. Um, you can get that anywhere, Lowe's, whatever, just to kind of clean the surface off. And then, finally, I use a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to kind of get a final clean to it. And then just put thin coats of paint on. So, I'm going to go ahead, scuff these things up. It's nothing you're going to really be able to see on the camera uh, because they are such fine uh, scratches. So, you might see the surface kind of dull a little bit as compared, but that's about it. I'll do it to both of these, and then we're going to throw this one in while we're at it for a different, whole different video, actually. But painting is painting, right? Okay, you can see it's a bit duller, hopefully. Scratched up a lot. Just kind of wiping it off with a cloth before I hit it with the cheesecloth. Uh, just to get some of the dust off. Now let's grab the cheesecloth. Go ahead and... If 
find a clean edge, which is pretty much the whole thing. Just kind of wipe it off a little bit just to get the dust off. We're going to use rubbing alcohol on it, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but just a way to prep it as good as you can. Okay, now we're going to clean it up with, uh, or clean them up with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Nothing better than rubbing alcohol to get oil and stuff off, even though I know my hands are still touching it. Ideally, I suppose you would use gloves if you were doing this, but I never do. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other one. And then it will be time to hit them with some primer. Okay, time to spray. Got a couple projects going on here, so I'm going to do this at the same time. Probably going to see this in two different videos. By the way, if you haven't, please uh, hit that subscribe button here. And check out my other channel, either a Rob Motive or Tundra Mission, depending on which of these videos you're watching. Now, as far as the uh, primer goes... I try to hit it just lightly two or three times with about five to seven minutes dry time in between and then after the final coat that you do you need to wait about an hour before you start to paint same process about three or four coats five to seven minutes in between and then let it dry for maybe uh, an hour or so before you put a clear coat on if you're going to put a clear coat on now on this one I'll probably put a clear coat on this but not on these, although since I have everything sitting here, I'll probably just go ahead and clear coat both. Same procedure, just a thin coat. Going to do three of them, I think, then another hour's drying time. And then we'll put some clear on them. Boy, that is orange. Wow. There you go. I know, a lot of overspray, right? Okay, the final step of this lengthy process uh, is the clear coat. This is just a, I guess a gloss crystal clear, indoor and outdoor. So, three light coats of this, five to six minutes in between, let it dry forever and a day, and then I'll be ready to put everything back on. So, let's go ahead and hit it. Okay, I am done. Three coats of clear, three coats of paint, three coats of primer, and about three hours worth of painting and waiting. Uh, this is the finished product. Of course, they have to dry. It came out really well. So far, I'm not seeing any imperfections in it. I'm pretty happy with it. Again, this is for the Tacoma, the Sport Bar, and this is for the Tundra, the Front Emblem. That's it. That's the video. I will be installing them down the road. They'll just be a piece of another video somewhere. There's not a whole video in putting these on the trucks. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.